good morning students let us continue our topic with the partnership deed as you know that partnership is an agreement between different partners now the question is that how can the agreement be prepared students agreement can be prepared orally or in the written form but as you know that every written agreement every written document is a proof in future that's why partnership deed is a written agreement between different partners stating the terms and conditions of governing partnership that means how much capital will be contributed by each partner how, what will be the profit sharing ratio how the work will be divided how much loan will be taken by the business firms to what extent the loan will be taken by the business firm and so many other conditions so partnership deed is a written agreement due to which partnership can be run smoothly as various persons are there there may be some contradictions so partnership deed helps in smooth running of a business and it will avoid definitely misunderstanding among the partners also as i told you that partnership agreement can be oral as well as written but still the written agreement works as a proof that's why we are stressing on that partnership and is an written agreement <coughs> the next c what may be the contents of partnership deed the contents of partnership deed may be name of the firm that means by which name the business firm will be run as well as nature of business and location nature of business means business will be trading business or a manufacturing business and location uh, it is very much clear that location means where the business will be located duration of business means whether the we have studied about the types of partnership whether the partnership will be particular partnership or the general partnership general partnership means that it will uh, go longer and longer and particular partnership says that that when that project or some task will be completed that uh, partnership will be dissolved so duration of business investment made by each partner that means how much capital will be contributed by each partner distribution of profits and losses that how much profits will be uh, how the profits will be distributed in what ratio either the profits will be distributed equally or in some different ratios duties and obligations of the partners what may be the duties how, what what may be the duties means what uh, kind of job each partner will perform whether they will be able to draw any salary or any salary will be drawn then next is terms governing admission retirement and expulsion um that means what on what conditions a new partner will be admitted suppose there are two to three partners earlier i will take three partners whether the fourth partner will be admitted or not if he she will be admitted on what conditions and retirement means already three are working how the one partner will leave or uh, the partnership business how the one partner retired from the business and expulsion of partners means if there are some dis disputes or if the partner is not working according to the already decided conditions so how the partner can be removed whether there will be an interest on capital or interest on drawings D drawings means if a partner withdraw something for the personal use whether there, there will be interest on that or not 
what will be the procedure for the dissolution dissolution means winding up closing of the partnership business how the accounts will be prepared and audited audited means how the accounts will be checked what will be the methods of solving dispute whether one senior partner will solve the dispute or whether it will be solved by uh, going to the courts or anything else now if i am saying that the registration of partnership is not compulsory while doing the uh, meaning of the partnership business we did that the registration of partnership is not compulsory now what do we mean by registration the registration means entering the firm's name along with the prescribed particulars with the registrar of the firms so entering of firm's name along with the relevant particular prescribed particulars means what will be the name location capital that we the contents we did in the partnership deed na so what uh, all that with these descriptions entering the firm's name into with the registrar of firms or where the partnership business will be registered that partnership business will be registered in the business in the state where the business is situated state means if we are doing the business in panipat the state is haryana if we are doing the business in ambala that means again the state is haryana that means the registrar of the firms of the state will register your partnership business let's see how the uh, partnership business will be registered so it's too simple the registration process of a partnership business is too simple first of all the application form will be submitted to the registrar of the firms and this application form will include the following particulars as described earlier that name of the firm location name of the other places means name of the other places means if your business firm is carrying bus, uh, partnership business on the other places and the date when the each partner joined name and addresses of the partners and the du duration of partnership with these particulars an application will be submitted to the registrar of firms with this application form a required fee will also be submitted after the submission of these documents the registrar uh, will collect the documents fees and this uh, contents of partnership deed and he will make checking of all these contents if the contents will be uh, okay if he doesn't found any discrepancies that means any um, variations then the partnership reform will be registered and a certification of certificate of registration will be provided now the question is i'm not in a favor of uh, registering my business firm partnership firm so if i'm not in a favor of registering the partnership business so i will not be able to get such benefits that means what kind of benefits that means a partner of an unregistered firm cannot file a suit against the firm or other partner means maine apni firm ko register nahi karaya and there are some disputes in that situation partners do not go to in the court of law and the second one is the firm earlier the partners were there now the firm cannot file a suit against the third party whenever i am using the word partner that means i am using in a sing, i am referring to a single person but when i am referring to a firm that means as a whole all of the partners and the third is the firm also cannot file a case against the partners so it was all about the partnership business 
we will continue with the cooperatives after your unit test thank you